Hello, Technology Crazy here, and today I decided to show you how to restore a custom firmware in iTunes without getting any of those error messages or anything that, like that. Uh, this also works for downgrading firmwares without any errors, so it's, it's a pretty nice way, and I don't think iTunes has changed it yet. It's, um, it's the new way in 2010 in the summer, uh, so if it's in the future, uh, yeah, test it out first. It might not work, but it probably will. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the firmware, um, our custom firmware, and we're going to stick it in the iTunes Restore custom firmware um, like folder sort of thing. So uh, when you click Restore, what iTunes does, does, I think, I don't really know for sure, um, but it goes into this folder right here and it res uh, and it checks the f your Restore file. Um, and it checks if it's the same as what's on your device or something like that. And if it is, it will allow you and all that stuff. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be confusing iTunes into thinking that your custom firmware is actually their um, made firmware and that it's all okay. Uh, so first off, you have to have two folders opened up. Um, we have to have this folder opened up, which is on, under your C drive, under users. And then you have to have your user, Apple, uh, or app data, roaming, Apple computer, and iTunes. Now I'll have this in the link in the description. All you have to do is copy and change to your username right here. After you're in this folder, you want to, we're going to change two folders. We're going to have the iPhone software update and the device support um, folder. So First off, we're just going to click on the iPhone um, software update, and we're going to go to our custom firmware. All we have to do is copy this custom firmware into the iPhone software updates. Now, one thing to trick Apple is we do have to copy the name of the previous one with the current one. So, uh, for example, let, let me just, um, yeah. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to take this, rename it, copy the name of it, then delete it, or you can do a backup like me, and then rename to this and just paste in the name of what it, um, what the previous one was, and we're gonna go back. Now we're gonna go into device um, support and do the exact same thing. Once again, you will not have the backup IPSW, and that's because I made that just for. Um, personal reasons.